What's up, fam? This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Law Care here in Conyers, Georgia. As always, hope you guys are cutting on. So today I thought I would help out by sharing with you all how I do my time management and trying to develop um, my guys being on task when there are certain things that has to be done. So let me tell you, if you don't have an order of how things get done around your establishment, even if for yourself, you'll find yourself um, burning up a lot of time, not managing your time well, not getting to your clients on time, skipping clients, skipping uh, certain things when it comes to repairs or maintenance to your equipment. So I'm going to share with you how we do it here at Quick Cuts. <laughs> First off, fam, this year, my partner is trying to operate as a, as a crew manager. And basically, it is just like this. His job is to make sure the crews got everything they need and to do training uh, for individuals um, as they go out and service lawns. So this is the checklist for him um, from 6 in the morning to 7 o'clock in the morning. And it's very important because what happens is if you are a owner, you really don't sometimes give yourself a task to complete early in the day. What you normally think about is just cutting grass, and that's not good in trying to grow a business. So in trying to grow a business, you have to give yourself tasks to be done alongside of things that has to be done like cutting grass. That's the easy part. Cutting the grass is the easy part. So let's take a look at what we got for him as far as the crew operation manager. One of the things that's important as a crew operation manager is to have some form of how you communicate to your workers um, via text. Now, we don't like doing using our cell phone to um, text someone. Basically, what we use is an app called Homebase. This app is a clock in, clock out system, break system. And let me tell you something, this system is free. You can get uh, home base for free. Um, go ahead and you know look it up on online. This is a lifesaver. Even if it's for yourself, man, clock yourself in and out. This is records that you can use for doing your taxes. This is documentation of what you have done. So if you even got one guy, man, put him on home base so you can um, stay in contact with him. They can ask for days off on there, and it's all free. It is free. We do have a paid subscription um, for it. The only reason we have a paid subscription for it is because um, they don't give you records beyond 90 days. If you want something beyond 90 days, you have to pay for it, and it's not that much money. So that's one of the things I will tell you. Um, he has to check daily to make sure no one talking about they're not coming in to work or something strange. We don't like cell phone texts at night. We want everyone to be hit up where we can see what's going on. Next thing you can see that he is responsible for checking the weather. Now we know the night before if it's gonna rain, but sometimes man, down here in Georgia, that junk is fishy. It'll say 100% and then next morning, it'll move into 20% and then it won't do anything. So we have to have that monitored. So basically, that's why he has to do that early in the morning to let the guys know by a certain time whether or not they're not coming to work when we see um, a situation when it comes to rain. We always try to put or we're starting to put a guy or a crew on standby. That means, you know, whether they can come in a half a day after things suck up and dry up. The next step he's supposed to do is review the route. You know, this is something that he should have already seen the night before, but just, just in case I updated something that needs to refresh. Um, so he reviews that. Also, once again, he's going to check the home base to view the schedule so he can figure out what crew he needs to pair up based upon the route that he saw. Now, one of the things is he also had to figure out where he's going to train and who he's going to train. These, these all of the checklist things that he has to think about within this hour. It doesn't mean that he has to do each one each day. It just means that, hey, this is your brainstorming list. As you go through this list, 
If you see something that you have to do, make sure it gets done. That way, this is my checks and balance. If I look at this list and say, why don't you do that? He can't say he didn't know because this is something that he's supposed to do daily. He can do this daily to get ahead of the curve, especially if I'm thinking like this, I got some guy coming in. I know I need to train him. I'm already saying on Tuesday I do training. So between such and such, such and such on Tuesday, I'm going to make sure that this is going to be part of my list that I'm going to do. All right. So got to have and got to establish a ritual and routine, fam. So as you can see, we have um, an open procedure. This is something that we didn't have last year. We didn't have people coming in that was paid on the clock actually come in and get us ready for the next day so we have it where they're going through a list of things that should have been that needs to be done um, in the morning you know some of the things that's most important is check for the oil levels in mowers every day you got to do that and you got to do it in the morning because you know that oil level is low in the morning um, we have been out on sites where a piece of equipment wasn't working so all that stuff has to be checked on a daily we don't want to show up and the tires flat on a lawnmower we don't want any of that we don't want you calling talking about we ran out of gas this is all the stuff man that we used to deal with because people don't really they really don't invest in your business you are the business owner you invest in it and then what you do is you set up a protocol for the guys who are working with you to make sure it gets done you delegate and you don't try to do everything uh, pay the guys to do it and check behind them because this list is how we're going to check behind them every day they are checking off this list stating that they did it and uh, we pretty much going to laminate this um this stuff so when they write on it it's just pretty much something that we can easily erase and just do it over the next day next up we have like the closing duties at the last property one of the things that i know um that my guys really um, wasn't doing really well, they'll bring a whole bunch of debris back to headquarters. I'm like, why are you bringing grass and all that stuff? Blow that more off in the night in, in the yard so you ain't got to bring all that stuff back. You know, plenty of times they don't call me because they thinking that the uh, machine is on fire, but what's really happened is a cone, like a um, pine cone got caught in between the belt <laughs> and it's smoking, you know? So this is one of the things why I got to say, hey, last yard, make sure you blow all the debris from underneath the deck, not under underneath like where the blades are, but in between the seat and, and where the spindles and stuff is in the belt. That needs to be blowed out. Um, one of the things that I noticed that go ahead and fill everything up at the end of the day. Fill it up, man. Fill your weed eaters up. Fill your, um, your mower up. Go ahead and get it out of the way so you won't have to deal with it in the morning. This is the reason why on the other one, it said check for these things because because it should have been done um, at the um, closing at the properties. OK, and as you can see, I have my my crew chief. They pull the check out all their yards and we have if you have yard book, you understand what I'm talking about. A lot of times I get frustrated. I'm calling them after work saying, did you do this property? Did you do that property? Uh, yeah, I did. But you didn't check it off. You didn't check it off. And I'm doing this every day, calling people. And remember, I got other stuff to do. So this is the closing list. And just so you know, we're going to a bonus pay um, situation where if you don't get any uh, demerits, hey, you don't get any kind of dings, you're going to get a bonus pay. It ain't going to be a super lot, but it's 5% um, of what you earn within that month. And let me tell you something, $60, $100 is more than... Um, you will get if I didn't do it. So that's the thing I'm trying to do. And this is the reason why I came up with this list for the closing fam. So this one is the closing procedure at headquarters, right? Now, notice it says to remove empty gas cans. It's going to be some empty gas cans because they, re they refill some of the equipment. So therefore, you refill the gas cans. It's real simple. One group does one thing, the next group does something else, and the next group actually follow behind, make sure it's done. So once again, this checklist is important um, for me. Like, we'll have the guys using a stick edger blade for two weeks. And I'm saying, like, it's not cutting anything. 
Why do you have this little nub here? So basically what we've done is we um, have a blade that we designated that you can put against the other blade and say, if it looks, if it's short like this, you need to replace it. Now, I don't know why you have to do that, but guess what? You have to do that. You have to develop the rituals and routines for your crew. You would think they're going to think like an owner. They're not going to think like an owner. Develop this. Even if you solo, go ahead and start development, developing this because you're going to have some guy working with you very soon and you want this order. All right, so as you can see, they supposed to turn in damaged equipment during this period of time. And the reason why this is a good time to turn it in is because I hate when people tell me stuff on the way out in the morning. What, what good is it to tell me, hey, something, something ain't working, we only have one weed eater working, and you got three guys on the truck. So yes, turn it in at closing so we can figure out what we need to do in order to make sure you guys are prepared in the morning. So fam, this is my rituals and routines. Hopefully, you know, you can see some of the things that I'm doing um, to, you know, help your business out. If anything you think of that can add, you know, put that in the comment section. Because at the end of the day, I can't cut this grass all by myself. Brother needs some help. And what I'm working with, I might have to just food spoon feed them. That's what I wanted to say. Spoon feed them all the way to the end until they catch on. So I know some people are saying right now, that's the reason why I go so low. Hey, man, all in. I'm with you. But for me, I ain't cutting all this grass by myself. Mm -mm, no way. No how. I just got to figure it out with this right here. This is what's going to make me cut on. All right? All right, fam. As always, cut on, Lion Camp family, cut on. I'm cutting out. Peace.